The destroyer exited hyperspace above the ecliptic of the soul system with a brief flash of light. They scanned the surrounding space for any danger, before orienting towards Earth and starting the hours-long trip to get home. But no one on board was celebrating returning home. This was a summer trip because a beloved crew member was traveling home for the last time. Captain, I have a large fleet on the scanners coming towards us. Intercept is in 23 minutes. Do you have ID on the fleet? Yes, Captain. This is the home fleet with the 4th and 7th fleet carriers and escorts. All ships are displaying running lights and are in escort formation. How many ships? Six carriers, with their full complement of fighters and bombers, 12 dreadnoughts, 23 battleships, 50 cruisers, and 10 destroyers and frigates. They are broadcasting respects to us and request the honor of escorting us to Earth orbit, sir. Return respects and acknowledge their request to escort us. Pull into formation and match speeds. The escort fleet and their guest of honor arrived at Earth orbit in a massive display of honor and took up orbit close to the main space station shipyard in orbit. They were waiting for a shuttle of specialists to arrive so they could escort Stabby over and then eventually down to Earth. Once the shuttle had a tight seal with the airlock, the specialists arrived and were shocked to find every crew member lining the corridors from the airlock to the robotic service bay where they were to escort Stabby down to Earth. As they were rolling the cart carrying Stabby along, the captain called for honors to the departing crew member, and everyone saluted as Stabby moved past them. Some crew members broke and called out farewell to Stabby as he moved past. A squad of marines were waiting at the airlock along with the captain, and they quietly escorted the specialists as they passed through into their shuttle. The trip back to the station and then down to the surface was a quiet trip and everyone was lost in their own thoughts as the time passed. Eventually, the shuttle landed at its destination and the marines formed up around the cart and Stabby. When the specialists started to complain, the captain interjected and told them that they would be escorting Stabby and there was nothing to talk about. It was a somber sight, seeing a squad of grizzled marines and their captain, escorting Stabby through the corridors towards their destination. Everyone who encountered them was shocked to see the faces of the squad and the tears in some of their eyes. Eventually, they arrived at their destination. Robotic repairs. As they entered the room, their demeanor caused everyone in the vast space to stop what they were doing and stare at them and their cargo. A group of technicians came forward and their leader asked what they thought they were doing. We have a cleaning robot called Stabby who stopped working and we want you to repair him because our repair crew are unable to fix him. Why don't you just use another cleaning robot and scrap this one? A technician asked. A couple marines had to grab Corporal Menendez before he could grab the technician. That's not just any robot cleaner. That's Stabby. He's our crewmate, and no one can just replace him. Fix him. Three days ago, Stabby went to his recharge station and simply didn't move after that. None of our technicians were able to determine why he stopped moving. His batteries are at 100%, his circuit boards are all fine with no damage, and everything is still connected. But he simply won't move or respond. The technicians moved Stabby to their workstation and connected all manner of cables and computers to him and brought up a range of diagnostic screens and figures that they all started chattering about. Hours passed and they continued to examine the small robot in front of them and eventually they stopped talking and discussing things. Finally, their leader turned to the captain and said, We can't find anything wrong with this robot. His programs are modified, but there is nothing seriously wrong with them. His circuits and motors are fine, with normal wear, and his batteries are charged. It should be working. I don't know of anything else we can do. I'm sorry, but there is nothing we can do to get this robot working. We are sorry. Captain Charles was depressed, but knew this was a possibility. Very well. Squad, fall in. We will be escorting Stabby back to the ship and to his rest. 
Thank you for your attempts, but we will be returning with our crewmate now. The return trip to the ship was a quiet and depressed journey, as they knew, the rest of the crew was waiting for Stabby. Upon arrival, the crew was all waiting for Stabby and his escort. The captain ordered Stabby to be escorted to the wardroom for the wake, as they traveled to Mars, so they could have a funeral for Stabby. The trip to Mars was not a long one, but it took much longer, because of all the ships who had arrived, and requested the honor of escorting Stabby on his last trip. Even as they arrived in Mars orbit, ships were still arriving, and sending messages of condolences. The trip from the landing pad to the graveyard was lined with honor squads of the ships in orbit. Thousands of crew members had lined the way, as Stabby was escorted to his final resting place. The crowd of admirals and generals were waiting for the crew and their honored Stabby to arrive. There was just a simple speech from the captain, as he explained Stabby's long service to the ship, and how many times, members of the crew and visitors, had had the pleasure of feeling a sharp sting to the ankle. A quiet chuckle went through the vast crowd watching on. A lot of them knew that sting in person, and they laughed at the memory. But they also were sad to know that they wouldn't feel that sting ever again. Stabby was laid to rest in a mausoleum, after 27 years of service. His list of honors was long, and listed tens of thousands of crew, from the lowest crewmate to admirals and generals, and even a planetary president. On his mausoleum was engraved. Vini, Pergavi, Confasis. I came, cleaned, stabbed. The author's name and the link to original text is in the description. Consider tapping the thumbs up and pressing the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video.